on Sugar Girl Tiffany, Madam Wishes, Black Beauty, your proud excited Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond. Also known as your modern day man, one who isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we're going to get started. I do hope y'all are doing well and feeling well on tonight. So let's see what's going on with you all. Somebody could be somebody could be receiving some um, some type of communication pertaining to a collaboration pertaining to a money some type of financial opportunity of some kind. It seems like this is a um, a group of individuals. There could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, um, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Masculine, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Masculine. Okay. Yeah, this earth sign is sending you some type of swift, fast communication, messages, news, or information, okay? Um, this could have something to do with some type of travel. Somebody could be traveling to you to deliver some type of message to you, or this could just be swift, fast communication coming in to you, okay? Um, this has to do with some type of talent, skills, abilities you have, some type of collaboration, um, as well as some type of contractual agreement here, okay? With the high priestess being here, I do feel like uh, you could be a high priestess, okay? Or this could have something to do with the high priestess or perhaps some type of secret knowledge, information, wisdom, enlightenment, your intuition on something here. This could be coming from a, someone who is in a high priest, high priestess. Um, this could be someone who is a high priest or high priestess who is wanting to collaborate with you or work with you in some type of way. There's a water sign masculine who um, is traveling. This person could be traveling towards you. This person could be delivering you some type of messages here. Somebody is wanting you to take some type of leap of faith, okay? Um towards this new beginning to, to take some type of leap of faith to be a part of some type of group collaboration or what have you um i do sense there being some type of gift of generosity here like um this could be charity um obviously abundance stability security um this could be charity this could be it could even be investment here but it's like you're being gifted something here uh for partaking in something here, okay? With the Ace of Swords here, um, this speaks to truth, clarity, even victories, okay? Something definitely has the potential for making a lot of money here. I do feel like um, not only is this collaborations, this has to do with uh, a contractual agreement, though. Yeah. Someone is definitely coming towards you with some money, about some money, as well as some type of communication um, in reference to this collaboration. So what else is going on here? Definitely heavy earth energy here. You could be an earth sign. You're being contacted by an earth sign here. This communication could be coming from an earth sign here. 
it's like somebody wants to make you wants you to make some type of decision on something or some type of decision is being made on something here let's see what's going on here yeah there goes the the king of pentacles here okay Whoever this earth sign is, I'm going to put this over here because this is the same person. Whoever this earth sign masculine is, you have three men here. You got a king of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, a king of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and a king of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. These are all masculines. Okay. Whoever this earth sign masculine is, he comes off as kind of childish. He could be very playful. He could, I mean, I feel like he get money. I feel like he got money. But he either come off like somebody who's just kind of young at heart. Or he may come up as somebody who like play too much. Okay, but he get money though. <laughs> you understand know what I'm saying? Or something like that or whatever. This earth sign is sending some type of swift, fast communication messages, news, or information pertaining to this collaboration. Co pertaining to some type of talent, skill, collaboration, contractual agreement uh, with a high priest individual here, okay? Um, this could be this air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. However, this, this, this high priest could be someone else totally different here, okay? This is definitely some ball shit here. You got emperor at the bottom of the deck here. So, like, these could be bosses, okay? These could be persons in power, authority, leadership here. I do see that there's a lot of motivation, determination, passion, drive to take action and move forward here. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Somebody could be a very powerful manifester. I'm now seeing the high priestess with the magician and the six of pentacles here, okay? So if you are in this, if you are this high priestess energy, high priest or high priestess energy here, you're a very powerful manifester here, okay? I feel like you have all the tools that you need to manifest what you want here, okay? You may, um, someone may work with like, somebody may be into divination or something here. You've manifested something here. Whatever this high priestess has manifested is bringing abundance in to you here. Yeah. Somebody wants some type of commitment. There's some type of... Somebody wants some type of commitment or arrangement or something here. The four of wands with the ten of pentacles flipped over together. This is sitting here on the king of swords with the ace of swords. It's like somebody wants some type of commitment or or something with you with this with this large amount of money here. This uh earth sign and this water sign may be traveling together towards you with this money here. These two men may work for this air sign man here, okay? Because this King of Pentacles and this King of Cups is sitting here with the Ace of Pentacles here, okay? Which talks about abundance, prosperity, um, obviously stability, security, okay? So it's usually, the Ace of Pentacles is usually seen as a gift of abundance, a gift of, of finances, money, resources from the Most High, okay? But it's like somebody, you know what I'm saying? Somebody wants you to go to the crossroads somebody wants you to make a decision it's almost like somebody is giving you an ultimatum like if somebody is coming towards you with this money but giving you some type of decision okay like you're gonna go to this crossroads and you're gonna go this way or you're gonna go that way you're gonna make the right choice you're gonna make the bad choice a, a, a bad the wrong choice you understand what i'm saying a lot of people that go to the crossroads it's said that those who go to the crossroads said assault to the devil to pop a leg make a deal with pop a leg somebody you understand what i'm saying this two and sword is a decision being made so this swift communication message news information this travel has something to do with some type of decision being made here. Where there's a decision being made by you. Or I feel like this, this two of swords here could be a decision that has been made here by this king of swords here. This king of swords may be sending this king of pentacles, this king of cups towards you with this money. Okay. Because somebody wants some type of collaboration. I feel like all three of these men are working together. Okay. 
they're in some type of collaboration, contractual agreement, partnership, or something together. I feel like they want you to be a part of this. I'm literally seeing the Three of Pentacles here, the Fool, and the Three of Wands here. So it's like they want you to be a part of some type of collaboration with them. They want you to take this leap of faith, okay? They're hoping that what they're coming, this abundance that they're coming towards you with will give you the motivation, the determination, the passion, the drive to take action and to move forward here. Because you are a high priestess. You're someone who is highly intuitive. You're naturally intuitive empathic you would even be psychic okay you're very wise you're enlightened um you could have a multitude of talent skills abilities okay especially sitting here with the magician you're a very powerful manifester okay um and this is the reason why uh, somebody is bringing you this abundance, this gift of generosity that is coming to you here. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles here. This has something to do with the, the work that you do here, the money you make from the work that you do. The Eight of Pentacles is the money one makes from the work that they do. So this has something to do with your job or what you do for work here, okay? Yeah, I'm seeing the Three of Cups here. These individuals want to be in celebration with you. They want to uh, indulge with you, work with you want you all to work together here in some type of way here okay um six of wands at the bottom of the deck so the six of wands talks about success triumph victory public recognition okay um that's what's going on here y'all okay so we got pop up here some of you all may receive some type of pop-up, spontaneous, unexpected surprise visit from someone, okay? Um, it could be these two men here. It could be one or both of these men. This is going to be an earth sign man and a water sign man that's going to pop up uh, together, okay? They're delivering you this abundance, okay? I feel like they've been given this abundance to give to you from whoever this air sign man is, okay? Uh, Spirit Clarify... Uh, Somebody may want to interview you. This is in here with the Eight of Wands, Travel, Two of Swords here. Somebody may want to interview you, talk to you, have a conversation with you, get on the same page with you about something. Yeah, Spirit Clarify, Three of Pentacles. Um... So we have Journal here. Something have uh, something could be pertaining to journalism or something like that. Something could have something to do with something you have written. This is writing diary, keeping notes here, journal here. You may be a writer or something like that. Somebody wants to co uh, collaborate with you or something like that. Or perhaps there is something that you've written that somebody or some type of a work that you have done that maybe somebody. This could be a journalist. Especially with interview being here. Or perhaps something has something to do with something that you have written. Spirit, what is this High Priestess? Um, Six of Pentacles, Magician. Eight of Pentacles. So we have projected here. So something is happening in the very near future, in, the, in in days, weeks, or months even, okay? Not years, like very soon, and in, in a certain amount of days, weeks, or months, okay? Spirit, uh, what's, what's going on with this King of Swords, Ace of Swords, Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles? It's like, I don't know what's going on with this command. A lot of times the four of ones is seen as a marriage card, but it's like, it's a it's a commitment card nonetheless here. I'm trying to see what's going on with this person. So we have negotiator here. This person may want to negotiate something with you. This is bargaining, begging, begging. Yeah, we got the masculine here. There's several masculines here. You have three different masculines here. This, um, be careful though. Somebody could be trying to buy you. Somebody, I didn't mean buy you. Like, somebody could be trying to buy you. Somebody could be trying to, like, buy you, like, pay you off or something.
That's interesting. Yeah, one, two, three, four here. Okay. We have Archangel Michael here, though, okay? So, I, I feel like there's no need for you to worry. You have some type of protection. You're prevented from harm, okay? Divine intervention in some type of way could be occurring here. Should any other messages? Be careful of somebody pretending with you, though. Be careful of somebody not being on the up and up with you. Of somebody trying to like get over it on you in some type of way, okay? Okay. So what else is going on here? Clarify, um... Somebody may see you as a sweetheart. So I clarify the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups. Okay. Something definitely has to do with someone's profession here. This has to do with your talents, your skills, your abilities, the work that you do. The reason why there's this pop-up visit, the reason why um, somebody's coming towards you with this money... Okay. Be careful though of somebody trying to put some type of curse on you. So we clarify eight of wands. Because somebody is traveling towards you like fast, quick, in a hurry to deliver some type of messages to you because of some type of decision. Okay. Could have I see family and death? Is there a death in the family? So clarify message. So mm -mm. somebody is coming through like this is help, mercy, charity, kindness. But I feel like somebody is like Somebody may not be on the up and up here. Like, somebody is not on the up and up here. So, we clarify this Three of Pentacles. Clarify Three of Pentacles, the Fool, Three of Wands. Whoever you are, you're an introvert. You see yourself by yourself, on your own, all alone. You know what I'm saying? You a homebody or something like that. Clarify this Three of Pentacles, Spirit. the fool it's like somebody wants to collaborate with you for the purposes of money somebody wants you to take some type of leap of faith or okay uh, is hoping that whatever they're coming towards you with or, or what have you it's enough to give you the motivation to move forward with them spirit what else is going on here what is this Somebody, somebody, I keep seeing something about a death here. Did you speak about somebody's death, write about somebody's death, somebody close to you die or something like that? And somebody wants to talk to you about this? Somebody wants to, it's something interesting here. It's like somebody wants to make you some type of promise. Somebody wants to give you some type of confirmation on something. Okay? Yeah, I'm seeing blessing here. It went back in the deck. Where did it go? Yeah, it's like somebody wants to gift you with something. Where did it go? The blessing card went back in the deck and then gift came out. So it's like somebody wants to bless you with something, gift you with something. This obviously has to do with some type of money or something like that. 
Spirit, clarify. Who is this King of Swords? Ace of Swords. Four of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. What's going on with this person? I keep seeing, y'all, something is significant to a death here. Maybe it's something you do for work. I see death. I see evidence here. What is going on? There's our blessing card again. Something that you do for work. Somebody wants some type of commitment with you though, okay? Whoever this person is here, um... He wants, he wants to try to get you into some type of binding contract. Some type of contractual agreement. I told you he wants some type of commitment with you. For, and I, he could be offering you a large amount of money. Yeah, we got gain at the bottom of the deck. Somebody could want to work with you or wants you to work with them. Whatever type of work you do, perhaps there, um, there's something pertaining to a death, okay? And some type of evidence of some kind here, okay? And perhaps you, um, maybe you help with that. Somebody could want, I'm telling you, somebody could be popping up. Whoever these persons who are popping up, they, they're coming like bearing gifts with money or something. They may want to talk to you or interview you or get on the same page with you. This could be. You may be taking notes on something, writing something. Somebody else may be taking notes or writing something. Or this could be a journalist. You could be a journalist. Um, but it's like you're being gifted some type of abundance here. Some type of blessing here. Okay. But there is somebody here, whoever is sending, whoever is like the head honcho in charge that is sending these persons towards you. First of all, they work together. These two, I feel like works for this guy here or something like that. But this person wants to get you in some type of contract here. Yeah, Eight of Wands with Temperance. So we know that the Eight of Wands is, is, is it could be travel, uh, travel of news, information, communication, but this could actually be physical travel, okay? But it's swift, fast, quick, in a hurry, coming through very swiftly. Temperance is all about balance, patience, doing things in moderation, purity, innocence, um, that nurturing, loving, caring, angelic, earth angel type vibes here, okay? So I feel like this is you receiving this communication coming in very swiftly towards you. Is there any other messages? Yeah, somebody, I'm telling you, somebody wants a commitment with you. Like, seriously. Yeah, this air sign here. Somebody wants some type of commitment with you. You might, end, you might be in mental conflict about this. This may have you in mental conflict. About getting a commitment with this person here, working with this person here, but this person is surely offering you something here. Is making some type of offer to you here. But you need to be careful of this because, I mean, you may end up with, like, whatever this person is offering you may sound real good on the surface, okay? But something, something uh, might be obscure or something about this contract here. You might end up abandoned, neglected, left out in the cold with a lack of finances, money, resources, stability, or security here. Be careful of what you're getting yourself into. Let's 
or some of you all could be receiving an offer because you have you were abandoned in some type of way or left out in some type of way here okay but i feel like with this commitment card here talking about this binding contract with this offer the four of cups speaks to offers proposals propositions the five of pentacles though speaks to abandonment neglect one being left out in the call with a lack of support, help, assistance here. With the moon here, there's something obscure. There's something hidden about this contract here, okay? Like this man might be offering you the ten of pentacles, but you might not get more than the five of pentacles, okay? Hmm. -mm. Yeah, I'm seeing so six of six of ones, ace of swords here. There's something, some type of work that you did pertaining to someone's death and providing some type of evidence around someone's death. Okay, this is getting some type of public recognition, uh, success, triumph, victory could uh, or public recognition could be coming to you for some type of truth or clarity. Um, Pertaining to this, yeah, this this could be people in the justice system. With the justice here, that's the reason. Remember when I said this is boss shit? These are bosses. These are these men are persons in power, persons in authority. Okay, these not your around the way cats. You know what I'm saying? These not your alley cats. Like you understand what I'm saying? These not your stray cats. You understand? Like these these guys are some bosses. That's what's going to have your ass. That's why you nervous about working. <laughs> um, yeah. You could have said something or done something to, to maybe help um, the justice system, legal, you know, something like that to bring justice to a situation or something. Mm-mm. Somebody may want you working to work with them. And I mean, something may seem like a whole wish or dream come true. This water sign, this king of cups, may make something sound real sweet to you. May see make it seem like it's a whole wish or dream come true. Okay. But like this person has other options and you could wind up being hurt by whoever this boss type figure is okay um yeah there's just a lot going on here guys okay so um yeah <laughs> You could be receiving, definitely receiving some type of communication, some type of pop-up. This could be just some type of pop-up communication out the blue, just like all of a sudden one day you get a message from this person or you receive some type of uh, letter or communication from this person or um, a pop-up visit even, okay, um, or what have you. But it has to do with the work that you do, your profession, your occupation, your career, your hobbies, your skills, your talents, your abilities. These persons are coming through with some type of mercy, charity, like they want to give something to you, okay? Um, they also are trying to make you some type of promises of some kind, okay? Um, it's like they want to work with you, collaborate. They want you to work with them, actually, collaborate with them, okay? And they're hoping that this gift of abundance, this blessing that they're giving to you will motivate you in some type of way. Um, yeah, yeah. But it seems like the head head honcho that you like it'll all boil down to you being in some type of contractual agreement. You see how this person looks stuck. You get in this, you sign this, your ass gonna be stuck. You ain't gonna be able to get out of this, okay? And you gonna soon realize that it's not worth it here, okay? But this person, this no get negotiator is coming through, okay? Bargaining, begging, saying whatever the hell they gotta say, okay? Because this person is gonna come through and make you an offer, okay? And tell you that they want you to be in a commitment with them and a binding contract with them, okay? And you gonna be making this type of money but you might get left hanging you might not really like that may be a lie
I feel like that may be a lie. You may get paid. You may get played on that front here. Okay. Um, I do feel like this is generous. It's a, a blessing. Them bringing something to you here. But I also see the curse card here. Somebody could also be trying to curse you with something. Okay. So you want to be careful of that as well, y'all. Honey, that's what's going on here. Okay? I do hope that this gave you all the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you may be dealing with or a situation that you may know that someone is dealing with. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond, 36 with the underscore between each word. For any person who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you all in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tiff diamond 36 or through PayPal, which is PayPal me slash at 36 diamond as always guys take care of yourself take care of each other but most of all take care of your babies honey remember this is a wicked wicked world that we live in there's wickedness in high places and there's evil that's lurking around each and every corner even in a neighborhood near you so y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch the surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.